Welcome back at the State House today. The governor's school voucher plan is officially shelved for the season. And a bottle bill gets sent to the governor, however. WHO 13 Zach Fisher joins us live from the State House. Zach, a lot going on today. Yeah, guys, no kidding. So starting off, first things first, after several weeks of holdup here in the session, both in the Senate and the House, Speaker of the House Pat Grassley told reporters this morning that the governor's school voucher plan is not going to be passed this session. Now, this is something that rural Republicans in the House have been concerned with. Democrats opposed this bill from the very beginning. But uh, Speaker Grassley did say that there would be still some work done on this bill with hopes for an agreement next session. Now, some news on a different bill today. A bottle bill got passed through the Senate and onto the governor. Now, this version is what the House had passed a month ago, raising the deposit rate among redemption centers from one cents to three cents and allowing stores that collect bottles to opt out if they meet certain criteria. Uh, dealers will be able to opt out effective upon enactment if, uh, if they meet one of several provisions, and that would be a food establishment license is held. Uh, this would include all main grocery stores and most convenience stores, uh, leaving just a few retailers to sell pop but not food. Another opt out would be is if there's a grocery store within a certain mileage of a redemption center. There's also a tax credit in that bill as well. So right now, both in the Senate and the House, guys, they're voting on budgets right now, uh, going through several different ones. There's still not an agreement on an education budget yet, so it's not clear if we're going to see that tonight or if that's going to be a tomorrow thing. But the end of the session is getting very close today. That much closer. Okay, thanks a lot, Zach Fisher, reporting for us live at the State House.